for all the new people that are here that weren't here at the beginning i'm going to go ahead and kind of do a re-explanation of this so what we're going to do is go ahead and reset our save data of course i have a backup of my original save data and what we're doing is sonic sonic story but we're doing 100 percent so kind of you know unlike the other categories we have to gain our movement options in the form of the gems because chaos scattered them throughout all the stages and of course we have to s rank every one of sonic's stages in order to get the rainbow gem in kingdom valley so we have to go through the stages in like a wacky order and we have to find a way to route out super fast s ranks so uh this is just kind of going to be the showcase of that and it is an insanely 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 fun run to do so i hope you guys enjoy here we go in three two one let's go dynamic i mean the i mean most of the games have kind of a dynamic running animation it's not quite as smooth as chaos made it but sonic 4 sonic's got the best running animation in sonic 4 I honestly like episode 2 quite a bit. So, Radical Train's kind of interesting because, of course, we have none of the gems, so we kind of have to approach this stage in a little bit of a different way. Of course, we don't have the blue gem, and if you know anything about the locations of the gems, we want to get that purple gem first to get extra movement options in Aquatic Base because the purple gem does not show up in Aquatic Base until the very end of the stage. So, we kind of have to go around kind of fumble around in radical train here a bit uh so that we can get you know to the end of the stage what i'm actually gonna do is kind of a theory is not grab those uh those specific speed shoes and uh what we're gonna do instead is we're going to take the route going this way um because now we have the purple gem so now pretty much our only goal left is to s rank the stage and thankfully in Radical Train, that's pretty simple to do. We got a nice leader right there. Combo system, grab these speed shoes, grab these rings. And in addition, Radical Train has a mock speed section, and mock speed sections make it really easy to kind of S-rank the stages. So now we're going to go ahead and do that same clip that we do as Supersonic and the no major glitches or any percent category. And uh, yeah. Here we go. So we got the mock speed section. Of course, we're going to do this a little differently because I want to go on a route where I grab a lot more rings. Just to kind of guarantee that S rank, of course, in every single stage in Sonic's campaign, we have to get 50,000 rings. And each stage has its own specific time bonus. Ring bonuses are always the same. Each ring is worth 100 points, I believe. So not only does it add 10 points to your total, but it adds 100 points at the end of the stage as well and then of course you know doing the combo system that's in a lot of the 3d sonic games to get a bunch of points to kind of add to your base score in the stage so there we go that's kind of radical train and that should be an s rank oh easily s rank we <laughs> we went way over way over but that's perfect and just another confirmation that we got that s rank is definitely grabbing that solely ornamental right there now for the fun stage uh we get to show off if you've uh kind of seen my demo of the uh ball skip skip that's kind of the only way we can really speed up aquatic base um so i'm going ahead and go for it once now aquatic base has an awful time bonus so we really really 50,000 rings yes 50,000 rings so it has an awful time bonus so we really have to make sure uh our score and our rings are really good now the thing is is that in aquatic base if you do the combos just right you can actually in the final rooms of the of the stage like where the alarm is on and the screen is like flashing red and stuff you can actually get an s rank off of a combo multiplier alone even with no rings, you can get above fifty thousand points However, that is kind of slow, and we do grab the blue gem then, so we kind of want to, if we can, blue gem ourselves to the end. So we're going to take a little bit of liberty here and, you know, play it a little bit safe because this is the second stage, and Aquatic Base is a very long stage, but unfortunately, uh, that didn't go so well for us, so we're going to have to uh, try Ball Skip again here. But again, uh, the big point, the point save, point time save, the place where you can get the most points is at the very end of section one here, right after Tails' section, 
there's a part where you use the magnetic switches to destroy a bunch of enemies with Sonic. And just because of the speed we do it and with how many enemies are there, uh, we get to... We get a bunch of points there, so no need to worry about the bonus. It was played kind of safe. I also am not used to using the ball because <laughs> I generally skip the ball. But doing the ball is about just as fast. Um, kind of that like when we only have the purple gem because remember we have to take into account we don't have all of our core movement options available to us yet so my controller is xbox series x but the in pad viewer um only goes up to xbox one so it's an xbox one on screen but i'm using an xbox series x controller hills section is also nice for a few points we can grab but you're gonna see that point total skyrocket after we do this because this is what i was talking about if we play our cards right and hit these magnetic pulls quickly enough we keep the combo and then boom straight up to 18,000 points and we're not even in section two yet so like i said i'm going to try the new ball skip once if i fail it not a big deal we can still get the s rank pretty stinking easily new thing i'm gonna start trying to do in aquatic base runs is skipping that loop because it is faster to do so and it's really easy to do but uh, yeah, we're basically just going to try to not get hit here, as well as sneak under. Let's try this ball skip, so we just bounce off that enemy. Use a little spin dash and uh, some purple gem shenanigans to get under the water here. And then we're just going to spin dash ourselves all the way to the other end. Whoops, a little too early. And there we go. We skipped through. We've got the double knuckles and tails. Let's go. So we get double the tails and knuckles, double the fun. Gonna try to not get hit here. And of course, we're gonna come right up here. If you played the game, you know the blue gem is sitting nice up top here. Now, a nice thing that Chaos did is he made it to where uh, you automatically switch to the gem when you collect it so that's really nice in this case you know just kind of saves a menu it's not really that big of a deal but as you can see even with the death we absolutely destroyed the score total like literally i mean as long as we don't get hit here it's where we're shooing oh and now it doesn't even matter if we get hit but of course we're not going to get hit because we're amazing speedrunners, and we've got double tails and double knuckles for some reason the other tails is over there with the other two knuckles is but oh my goodness that's incredible, that was incredible. sonic mania is the true sonic 4 and you can't convince me otherwise so now we have two of our main movement options so let's go get the third of our main move op movement options, White Acropolis. Now, Chad, if you know this channel at all, we're in White Acropolis, so get those cat gems, cat gems, cat gem gems, and Stelmo jams out. In addition, exclamation mark jam and jamming in the channel to get Nightbot to party along with us. And let's rave. Ooh. White Acropolis is actually a super easy stage to S rank, especially if you don't get hit just because of how many rings you can collect in this first section. And the time bonus is ridiculous. Especially, I was wondering, like, Stelmo, you always use the Sky Gem to perform Tail Skip. How the hell are you gonna get over the uh, barrier without the Sky Gem? Well, there's another way to get around the barrier, and it's with just the Blue Gem. No, you can't use Speed Rock because you have to use the Sky Gem with Speed Rock. It is funny. <laughs> a very good quality Sonic game and a very bad quality Sonic game share a story. Lovely. Yeah, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to kind of finagle the searchlight a bit, what we normally do. So, here we go. So, we're gonna kind of proceed as normal here. We have our blue gems, so we're gonna, you know be the coke fiend hedgehog that we are and speed our way through here people say this game is too slow and we're going to destroy the leader just get to level three we want this searchlight to see us and we want to line it up with this mountain here so we can actually use a blue gem launch to swing around the invisible wall here and skip it uh without the purple gem which is great so now we have the sky gem Beautiful, thi beautiful thing we can do is there's a leader there, a leader being in charge of a group of enemies, and if you destroy that one, you destroy them all. And there's a lot of enemies in White Acropolis, so I'm just going to destroy this group, get the combo bonus, and then I think we should be set to finish the Sage and grab the S rank. 
it is a little bit dangerous if you're not too comfortable with, uh, you know, the time bonuses to really know when, you know, when to cross the stage, when you're safe. But the time bonus in White Acropolis is massive, as you can see. Plus, we had plenty of rings, so we easily got the S rank there. But now we have three of our four main movement options. We're going to grab the last one in the White Gem over in Kingdom Valley. And the nice thing is we have to play Kingdom Valley twice anyway. Uh, because we play at the end to get the rainbow gems so you know this run or the first part here is grabbing the s rank and then the second part is uh we get to kind of speed run it as if we were normally doing like a any percent speed run or something so let's go ahead and grab the white gem it's right at the beginning of the stage here time saves are insane well that's because my first one was really bad we did it we did it a little bit earlier so, I also just totally screwed up Aquatic Base in my first run, so it kind of makes sense. So what I'm actually going to do is take the low route here because there's an uh, F ton of rings down here. So we might as well just grab them. You were there? Wait, no way. Vertex is eternal. Whoa! Oops. <laughs> Another death, but that's okay. Alright, see you later, Super. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We will have be having fun. We'll be doing this category for the entire stream. So, woo. We're gonna go ahead and go that way since we already have the white gem. And the moment you pick up a gem in a stage, Sonic has it, which is really nice. The only way to not collect a gem in a stage is to force quick. So if you accidentally grab a gem on accident or something, which obviously you wouldn't do in this category, but in another category where you're not running, holding all the gems it would make sense to do something like that so we're gonna just go ahead and go through here run it other streams probably gonna run it for a week i think just kind of see how low we can get it just for fun do a couple ultimate grind episodes with it all right we're gonna basically play silver stage as normal because as of right now his combo potential Kind of lackluster, especially because the meter is more properly balanced in terms of the use of his gauge for certain abilities, and we can't really extend it in any way. Just played one other 3D Sonic game. I recommend Project 06 as a person's first 3D Sonic game if they only care about the gameplay. Wait, he had a beard? Oh, the beard's gonna be coming back for sure. I do no beard in the summers and then beard in the winter, so... You'll be seeing the long beard and hair come back. Or long hair and beard come back, I guess. is the right way to say it. I actually uh, did a skip there, but I kind of wanted to... Uh, actually kind of continue this bottom route here. Let's grab a couple more enemies. I think we got a combo going? I'm not 100% sure. There it is. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the S rank. Again, you know, we, I don't want to, like, die on purpose, but especially with the amount of rings we can get in the mock speed section if we're not idiots in that particular mock speed section. Uh, pretty stinking high, so, you know. What is a little dangerous is to do castle skip here, but we can't just have a Stelmo run without doing castle skip, so let's do it. Did forces have potential? Uh, from what I understand, forces is kind of crap. Or at least the idea was crap anyway. All right, that's castle scoop. Let's go. And uh, again, as long as we don't, you know, suffer like big damage or die in the mock speed section, we're pretty much guaranteed this S rank. And that's a nice thing because you can kind of, you know, like fidget around with the stages and do what's best for you in terms of getting the S rank. Like if you're not comfortable with your knowledge of the time bonuses, you can, you know, get more points, destroy more enemies. You can, you know, kind of risk it and go for the time bonus. It's so fun. It is unbelievably fun to, uh, to do this. So highly recommend this category. If you've, if you've played PO6 to death, I recommend doing this because this is super, super fun. Like I have, I have well over, I think it's probably safe to say I have well over 750 hours in this game, so, you know. And that doesn't count the other demos, that's just the Shadow release. Oh, Forces had major potential? Oh, I don't even remember the last level, so <laughs> it's kind of lost on me. As you can see, I think we have the S rank just from the ring and score we got alone. So the time bonus is just going to be kind of the icing on the cake here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've heard a lot about Sonic Forces Overclocked and seems like it's actually a pretty fun way to play the game. But let's go, another S rank. If you're a sub to the channel, we actually have an S rank emote. <laughs> if you feel like using that. All right, Wave Ocean is up next. Now that we have our four main movement gems, uh, you can kind of play the rest of the stage in any order you want. And of course you can do the two Elise stages and Tails Wave Ocean and whatever order you want. I like to save them till the end though. So Wave Ocean's kind of interesting because if you've ever seen an any percent run of this game, uh, you know that you can clip through the ocean floor and just kind of skip straight to the end of the section. And you can do that in this run because you can get an S rank in the mock speed section alone. Like it's entirely possible to do. Is it safe to do it that way? I mean, if you want to go really slow through the mock speed section and kind of risk your run, you can do it. I personally will not be doing that. I'm going to be just kind of playing through wave ocean as normal as I normally do in like a no major glitches run or something like that. Well, unfortunately, that's what happens when you try to be a show off. So got to go through this again, unfortunately. That's what hurts, and that's why this category is so fun, because this is definitely, like, an advanced category, for sure. So, like, you know, it's really for people who understand the shit out of the game here. Yeah, so we're gonna play Wave Ocean three times in this run. Lovely. I'll definitely go ahead and kind of do a little detour here and destroy these enemies, just to get a little more score. Grab the leader, then uh, we'll just kind of play as normal here. All right, we should be good. Got a 34, nice, dude. I still can't see that train uh, train conductor shit as like a, a messed up jack-o'-lantern. I don't know if anybody else sees it in the chat, but uh, Kariru's little train conductor badge from uh, starting a hype train in chat. <laughs> kind of looks like a jack-o'-lantern with a messed up face. At least to me. All right, I don't know how Tails just walked in and destroyed those bombs, but nice. Darn, we're not gonna make it. Let's speed up. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me of like a Minecraft jack o' lantern. All right, like I said, you know, we do the roof launches for spectacle, of course, but uh, for practicality and because this is our. <laughs> Third time running through this stage, and you know, not including the fact that we still have Tails Wave Ocean to play. I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe here. Honestly, if I grabbed those ring boxes, we would probably would have been set in the previous run, which kind of sucks. But this should easily S rank. Not only do we do it faster, we have a shit ton of rings and points from section one as well. So. Let's go. Of course, obviously P Bean because it's a new save file. Easily breaking that score barrier. Don't die in Wave Ocean. All right, next up we got Crisis City. Now, like I said, because we got our four main movement gems, you can kind of do the rest of the stages in any order that you want. I particularly do Crisis City before Flame Core because the yellow gem helps out immensely in Flame Core for getting the S rank. Because there's so many ways in Flame Core you can get pot shotted and lose all your rings and like die and stuff that just having the yellow gem with the Thunder Shield is just, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Makes you have to think a lot less about it, so. I like to do Crisis City first, other people like to do it later, you know, it's just kind of how it is. Do, 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 do. 
I totally forgot to do the 360 chat. We got to do the discount 360. Here we go. Let's get the 360. Woo. And then we'll quickly swag board it up. Discount 360 for a discount category. Boom. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Crisis City, really easy stage to S rank. Again, you can get the S rank along with the time bonus just from the mock speed section alone. Kind of like you can in Wave Ocean. Unfortunately, I wasn't good enough at the Wave Ocean mock speed section to properly show it off, but, you know, maybe one day. I know it's possible because Kariru's done it, so. All right, got to make sure I'm on my right. Gems. You don't want a 360 anymore? Then don't watch the stream, man. I don't know what to tell you. So we come down behind here on this little ledge, grab this spring to come back after we grab the yellow gem, of course. And I like to keep it active just to use it a little bit in the stage that we get it in uh, because we can grab these rings on either side. And it makes me think that uh, I don't know if, if the rings were situated like that in retail, but it makes me think the chaos if they weren't situated like that. Uh, put them there to kind of show off that, yeah, you can use the yellow gem to draw in rings, you know, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Gonna take the slow route here just because I kind of messed up that jump, so I don't want to mess anything up. And don't forget, if you subscribe to the channel or give 200 bits during the stream, you can change one of the cosmetic things, such as the spin effect, if Sonic has his TGS animations or not, uh, what the gem shoes look like, you can do all of that. For one low price of $5, or for $2 if you're converting bits into real monies. Ooh, almost got damaged there. That would have been bad. Now, of course, we don't have Super Sonic, so we're not going to transform into him here. The only thing that's really dangerous in Crisis City is uh, the way the cars can hit you in this section. Sometimes you can get absolutely blindsided, and uh, that kind of ruins your run. <laughs> Thankfully, like I said, with time bonus and ring bonus alone, with this mock speed section, you can get the S rank. And it makes me think that <laughs> it was almost designed that way, but I think it might just be more a matter of coincidence than anything. Nice, dude. That's, uh... It's kind of harsh to bring up Modern Sonic. Oh, the adventure spin ball and mock speed looks uh, really goofy. All right, like I said, this truck here, thankfully, I think because the camera changed, it went off screen. But uh, that truck was on course to just screwing us and really no fault of our own. So a little bit more difficult. But there we go. Easy S rank soaring way higher, way, way higher than that 50,000 threshold. But now that we have the yellow gem, it's going to make section two specifically of flame core a lot easier. Very happy about that. So, of course, in flame core, we got to grab ourselves the red gem. But unfortunately, the red gem doesn't really help us out because it doesn't actually do anything beneficial. So just for the sake of, you know, using it because we do collect it in the run, I just kind of like to use it there to destroy those enemies, even though it doesn't really help us. Just, just for the novelty. And, you know, of course, if we die. <laughs> red gem. The red gem is back. You got to do the red gem flexing, of course. You can't just get a gem and not use it, right? Thankfully, like I said, flame core, especially if you have the yellow gem, really easy to S rank. Combo rooms here, so this first one and then the section one later in the stage really helped get us points in section one. And then section two, of course, uh, Knuckles' room with Sonic is actually super good for getting the S rank. Just gonna kill a few extra enemies since I took a hit there. Of course, you know, I got the yellow gem to avoid taking hits in flame core, and then I proceed to not use it in a place where it uh, would be pretty beneficial, all <laughs> things considered, to not take any damage, but I think we'll still be fine. A lot of rings we can still get. In fact, I'll go ahead and yellow gem here. Now, if you don't know what the yellow gem does, when you level it up in PO6, it actually uh, increases kind of its efficiency. Now, I wouldn't recommend having it on when you're trying to do the light speed dash. It doesn't work too well. 
But uh, when it's at level 3, in previous demos of the game, it actually didn't decrease at all. But you can see it's slowly draining our gem gauge there. Uh, which is which is fine. I think, you know, you shouldn't be able to have a gem be used for free. Uh, though you could technically argue that, like, you use the rainbow gem for free because it uses rings instead of, you know, gem power or whatever. But, you know, just play Shadow <laughs> if you have a problem with that, I guess. So we'll go ahead and keep... Uh, keep this gem on as you can see it helped us out right there as we fell into the lava thankfully the lava is not nearly as punishing as it is in a a sonic run at max speed by default well i don't necessarily think that's the point of a sonic game especially when you're going for something like what po6 is going for is more momentum based gameplay and you know the adventure series kind of trying to carry on the legacy of the momentum based gameplay I don't think Sonic should run at his, at his default, like, like the default max speed is an interesting thing to me, that Sonic, you know, can use his environment to his advantage and increase his speed in other ways. He's capable of running faster, but, you know, not, he's not, like, faster than, you know, fucking, you know, light speed or something. I'm just gonna grab a few more enemies. I think we're fine, but of course, just in case, this is me and not, you know, fully knowing the time bonuses. Better than Smash Ultimate? Oh, the story mode, well, yeah. You could do a double jump with it? Um, it'd be pretty redundant for the yellow gem to have a double jump, I think. So, yeah. Air be about it. So now we're done with all of the core stages. Um, so now we gotta do, you know, kind of clean up, I guess, where we do Dusty Desert, Tropical Jungle, and Tails' Wave Ocean. Dusty Desert's pretty easy stage to S-rank. Doing it fast is a little bit more difficult, but, you know, you got a lot of enemies. Of course, we got a leader right here. So, you know, if I don't fall and die in the quicksand, we should be able to kind of continue on. Also, who's gonna be that 400th follower, man? We're kind of in limbo here. 399, which is kind of awesome. Appreciate everyone who's following. Anyone looking to grab that 400 spot? More than welcome for it. It's wide open. All right, so I'm gonna double back here just to kind of, you know, there, there are some enemies here, so why not go back and destroy them? All right, we're actually not gonna take the shortcut here and I'm gonna take the bottom route. Kind of a faster version of the bottom route. It's kind of hard to explain, but there's a little, little uh, way you don't have to, you know, go all the way around here. What you can do is, I believe it's not in this section. Oh, it is, right here. You can actually do a homing attack chain right here. And if you homing attack all these enemies and ring boxes and stuff, you can actually get all the way to the top and hit this spring right here. It's pretty cool. And with that, we should have more than enough rings and, you know, more than enough score to hit the S rank here. And boom, there we go. Pretty speedy. Yeah, 71,000 points. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty big discrepancy between, you know, that stage's, uh, you know, just speed run versus doing it in the score attack, but still pretty cool. Still pretty darn cool. Up next, Tropical Jungle. Tropical Jungle's probably the hardest stage to S rank. If you, uh, if you make a mistake, it's pretty, pretty damn punishing. For sure. So, here we go. 
Not gonna take the shortcut, of course, because there are enemies and rings this way, so... Definitely want to make sure we hit all these. Grab as many rings as possible. So, of course, this is where we get our big juicy point bonus is right up here. Because there are enemies galore in this section. We just do a quick anti-grab and maybe fire shield just to have a little bit more control of where Sonic is going. You can even homing attack this as well. And, you know, lots of enemies. Huge combo bonus already up to 10,000 points. Gorgeous. Like good content let's go man i appreciate the compliment i mean you shouldn't deprive yourself and be unhealthy to watch the stream but uh i'm happy that you enjoy what i do around here nice that's what i get for trying to go fast <laughs> let's, run up. let's try this again I think I have a little bit of a faster idea how we can get to that main section of points because that main section of points is really what we're trying to get to in Tropical Jungle. So I think if we take this route here where we do kind of the fast route in the beginning and then jump off, that'll really help in terms of speed in this first section. Of course, we're just back on the regular route as normal, grabbing rings, doing all the good stuff. Had to work today? That is rough, man. You should probably get some sleep, Kariru. Alright, we're not gonna do log skip because I want to grab some of the rings that are in that automated log section just to help us kind of push over the barrier just in case. Do you have to work tomorrow? That's the real question is do you have to work tomorrow? So we're gonna take a jump here so that I can uh, remember where the hole is to go down. There it is. And uh, we're gonna grab those rings. Now we're up to 60. I think we we're at like 20 before. You have to work well. You should definitely get some sleep then. Playing it instead of Sonic. I mean, I wouldn't consider it really a waste. If you really want to think about it in a cynical viewpoint, all video games are a waste of time. But you could also say that about literally any form of entertainment on the planet, so. We're gonna go ahead just as a little bit of extra safety, because I'm not entirely sure we're gonna go ahead and take this bottom route here. Destroy this leader, and that should get us an insane amount of points. Sure did. I think we're good. We didn't take any hits, so we still have all our rings. Oh yeah, we're good. Nice. Thank you. See you later, Kariru. Thanks again for the uh, tier 3 subscription, my man. I really appreciate that. It's really nice of you. Bought the battle pass. Ooh, that's tough. All right, let's see if we can do Wave Ocean Tails just a little bit better than we did it last time and not have to play it three times in a row here. Tails Wave Ocean is probably one of the goofier stages for S ranking. It's pretty specific if you want to go fast and S-rank this stage, and also this beginning kind of trolls you. Oh, well, 15? Well, now you know that uh, you don't like Fortnite and that you want to pursue other things. Just because you didn't uh, use the Battle Pass, I mean, it kind of showed you that, hey, the Battle Pass isn't really all it was cracked up to be. Only bought the Battle Pass for Fortnite once, and that was during, uh, I think, Season 3. Whatever the John Wick skin was, that was, like, that was, like, peak Fortnite in 2017 was the John Wick skin season. Like, everybody and their mother was playing Fortnite. It was crazy. I remember just going down my dorm room. I had a, two, a dual PlayStation 4 setup. 
playing Fortnite with uh, with uh, another dude on my floor and then, uh, you know, just down the hall. It wasn't even down the hall. It was like two rooms down. People were playing Fortnite. Like, it was fucking everywhere. People would skip class to play Fortnite. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, sad for fan dub meth list. It's very true. All right, I think we're set if we don't get hit, destroy this leader, and just kind of bomb the fuck out of the enemies over here so that we don't take damage. We do have less score than last time, but we do have rings. So I think that's going to kind of even the playing field here. Let's go ahead and grab it and see what happens. Oh, baby, I think that's it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Tails a little over exaggeratedly happy, but that's fine. And then, of course, the final check to make sure we did anything. The rainbow gem has appeared in Kingdom Valley. So now we just speed run through Kingdom Valley, and we're pretty much good to go. How can you say it's better than Sonic Frontiers game isn't even out yet? <laughs> Seems like a wild accusation. Sonic Generations classic model? That would be a very, very stark visual contrast since the games were four years apart, or five years apart. Please don't hurt me, Mr. Robot Man. Thank you. Um, ooh, I think I saved it. Thank you, random eagle, <laughs> for saving me. Really appreciate it. That's what happens sometimes you mess up that skip if you don't high jump and you accidentally, uh, you accidentally do a bound bounce attack instead, and uh, then that happens. Let's try going up. Alrighty, here we go. You get to load up your Stelmo Pogs again for Castle Skip. Here we go. Ow. Ow. Well, or we're just not going to do Castle Skip. <laughs> That's fun. You don't get to see this a whole lot on stream. This is the route you actually have to take if you don't do Castle Skip. I could do it from here, but I mean, it's not that much faster to just kind of do the back up here. Just bounce out and Castle Skip. Pog? Uncertain? Alright, we can just hop right up here and drop down into here. Please don't take damage. Grab the rainbow gem, transform into super, absolutely annihilate all these enemies. Who needs delays on your homing attack? Make it broken. I think there's a, there's a hidden dude here somewhere. Okay, no, we got them all. Alrighty, let's go ahead and finish this off with a quick mock speed section and then we're set.
I don't think it's going to be sub 42. It's going to be pretty close, though. It could be. Uh, 55, 57. Hey, 56. Let's go. Beautiful. 